Hey, E Screen here, but feel free to call me E. So, I've always been fascinated by what my friends and colleagues have in their menu bars. It's a bit like what you have on your phone or which are your favorite apps, but apps in the menu bar are smaller, smarter things that, you know, speed up your workflow or increase your productivity or are just fun and useful in some way. So, you know, I decided to show you what's in my menu bar and maybe you'll find something useful. So, let's dig in. All right, let's start with the fact that my status bar or menu bar is hidden behind those three little dots. This is called Bartender and I've already spoke about Bartender many times before. Basically, it's an app that hides everything in your status bar. For example, I can show my battery status visible here only my, when my laptop is unplugged the rest of the time. The icon is hidden and it doesn't take up any space. Also, there are different layouts that you can use and I've opted for this style of status bar, which I think it looks a lot cleaner than, you know, having everything lined up up here. Okay, so aside from the usual things for Big Sur, which is uh, spotlight, Wi-Fi, the battery and the language, we have the first thing, which is called Hidden Me. Hidden Me is an app that basically hides your desktop. So if you have a messy desktop and you're doing a screen recording or you're in a meeting, for example, Hidden Me hides everything quickly. Of course, you can show it. Hidden Me is free, by the way, and it is paid only if you want to be a pro and run Hidden Me on multiple displays. Next up, I have Clean My Mac X. Now, I've worked with Clean My Mac X before and they are great when it comes to optimizing your Mac. Basically, Clean My Mac X is a multi-tool that keeps your Mac safe, first of all, and gets rid of any junk you have on the computer. For example, if I run a scan now, I'm pretty sure that you'll see how much things I'll have to get rid of and free up some space. So, I have 16.76 gigabytes of things that I need to get rid of. Okay, so while it's running all this, let me show you another cool thing about Clean My Mac X, and that is the uninstaller. I use this a lot. With the uninstaller, you can see all the apps that are installed you know, on your computer, on your Mac, and you can get rid of them the proper way. Usually, you know, throwing them in the trash or dragging them in the trash is great, but in many cases, oh, see, everything is popping back online. Okay, but usually, yeah, uh, throwing them in the trash leaves some um, files or libraries or additional things that remain on your computer. And when you use an app like this, uh, you can properly uninstall the things that you want to get rid of. And finally, another useful thing that I like about Clean My Max is Space Lens, which gives you an overview of your of your computer space. Like if you have a smaller storage, for example, and you want to make sure you know you want to see what takes up all your um, all your gigabytes of data, you can run that and see you know what particularly what item or program or folder clogs up your hard drive. Very useful. Check out Clima Mac X. They're not sponsoring this video, but I admire their product. Okay, next up is Alfred. You see this little hat? This is Alfred. Basically, it's a spotlight, but on steroids. Like It does a lot of things. I usually use Alfred to run apps like Affinity Designer, or I want to run Notion, or I want to run my notes, or I want to run Safari. See, there's a lot of things that you can quickly fire up with uh, with Alfred. Alfred can do a lot more things like calculations, 345 times 23. Okay, you can also open folders, for example. I can open my volumes folder. And I can go into my hard drive and you know move like this throughout your computer. Very useful. Alfred has tons of things that you know probably a separate video would wouldn't do it justice. It's so powerful. Okay, next up is called, the thing is called Rectangle. Rectangle is basically a snapping um, window tool, sort of like the way you can snap your windows on Windows. Basically, you can do Control Option and right arrow and move it to the right and control option left and up and down and center it's a very easy way to organize your windows via shortcuts so this is rectangle it's free it was a recommendation by a viewer by the way okay next up is m installer this is basically a plugin that i use for 
editing the videos, like having titles and all sorts of effects on all my videos. Okay, next up is 1Password. Now, I'm not going to open my 1Password because I want to share all my passwords with you, but 1Password is a password managing tool. Now, I've been using 1Password for years and I can remember a single occasion where there was a um, leak of uh, user information or any sort of leak. 1Password is very useful. It's a standalone tool with plenty of plugins for all your browsers and it works on the phone as well. By the way, see how this app stays here for a little bit before Bartender hides it? It's fantastic. Okay, NordVPN. I use NordVPN for uh, browsing the internet safe and also I use NordVPN to watch content outside of my country like Disney Plus for example, which is not available in my location. Okay, next up is Theme. Theme is very interesting by the way and it has an equivalent, I think it's called Coffin. Maybe they are just competitors, but this is Thin, and Thin keeps your Mac active. For example, if I activate it, my computer won't fall asleep and my screensaver won't come on. This is very useful if you do some sort of like a recording or like me when I'm here and I don't want my computer to fall asleep while I'm talking to you because I use the wallpaper as, you know, as sort of like a backdrop. By the way, I'll link all the apps in the description below. So. And if you have any suggestions, you know, don't be shy. Don't keep it to yourself. Give it to me. I want to see what else I might put in there. Okay, next up. This was a sponsor in my previous video, Tech Sniper. And this app is just amazing. It's basically, well, let me show you what I mean. We do Shift Command 2 and we have the Sniper screenshot trigger and let's take a snapshot of this text see copy to clipboard now we open a text document and then we say paste wake up and smell the coffee so text sniper can grab any text from a picture video pdf file scan document any text that is baked into something you can snap it with a text sniper and just paste it it's amazing and this thing costs seven bucks a lifetime so you know i wish this existed way back in the days when i used to do a lot of graphical work and design work okay next up is the creative cloud there's nothing much that i can talk about actually this uh this menu here doesn't give me much other than a quick access to you know the adobe suite apps that i'm using and a quick way to update them. Finally, we have iStats. iStats gives you a glimpse of everything that is happening on your computer and it's very useful to show you, you know, how your CPU is performing, what is the temperature, what processes, processes are taking up uh, most of your computer resources, what is your current load. This is great for when I do heavy tasks and I want to make sure I'm not bottlenecking my, uh, my computer or if I can somehow offload it. So that concludes everything that is in my menu bar again if there's something that you want to share with me and you found something cool that i haven't seen before you know do share it in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video by the way subscribe it's free and you can always change your mind plus it helps a ton but yeah if you have any questions you know list them below or ping me on twitter and as always it's been an absolute pleasure this is z over and out